Hello guys, so today I'm going to do the tutorial for the set of nails that I was using uh, yesterday. That way I can show you how I did, especially the ombre and how I encapsulate the DIY fall leaves on this set. So let's do it. So guys, these tips here, um, we're using like a press on type. So I use this uh, tack blue uh, sticky to stick my tip. So these nails is so shiny, so I haven't prepped this. So we're going to do the five uh, finger only to show you how I did uh, apply the ombre basically. So we're going to prep this nail. So what we do, uh, we're going to... Um, see file these nails right there um so i'm gonna file the tip where we pretend this is like uh you know a natural nails <clears throat> so i'm gonna take off the shine so that way to prep it it's uh you know we don't want to skip our prepping it's the very very important part in doing nails so now that we take off the shine also guys pretend that we are using a natural nail so basically like you need to take off the dust okay and when you are doing this on the real person nails you need to make sure that you push the cuticle back and uh, you know that way and then clean uh, if there's any dead skin around the cuticle area um, you want to make sure that um, you know uh, you want to make sure around the cuticle area and your the nail bed folds that uh, all the dead skins and uh, any you know dust it needs to be cleaned. So I use this brush to to clean that. So now that our nails is done, so we're going to take our primer. So we we are using um, that's our nail primer by Tommy Taylor. So we're gonna prime the nails, like I said, uh, since this is uh, only like, um, this, since this is not like a natural nail, so I'm not gonna use primer. So it's because it's just for demo. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna show you how to do the ombre on the pinky nails of the nails that I was doing yesterday. So uh, we're gonna take, we're gonna start off with a brown, um, with our brown nails, the brown acrylic, I mean. So this is the powder we are using, the dark brown. Uh, it's really pretty, guys. It's a very, like, chocolate. So I'm gonna get a little bit. That's all you need, guys. You don't need a lot, okay? Just that. So I'm gonna dab this in my towel. There you go. We don't have a really good stand, guys, so, um, you know. So hopefully I'm going to order a new stand. That way when I do a demo, it's a lot easier. So guys, when you do try and blending, since, since we're going to use three different colors, so I'm going to uh, make sure this one is thinner and kind of uh, move it this way. That way we don't have, uh, we get a nice blending. Just use the tip of your brush. Um, to work with the, the, your first color so there you go and then when you do that uh, when you do blending or put applying acrylic nails guys you don't want to flatten them try to work on the side of the acrylic so we're gonna need a little bit more so I'm gonna just get a little bit just to cover the tip of my nail since this is like a full uh, nail coverage um, so I'm gonna brush it that way I'm gonna spread it evenly then we're gonna smooth it out so we're gonna remove the excess product that we don't need so when you're doing uh, the colored powder guys usually they're very pigmented so they take a little bit uh, to dry 
yeah they don't dry as fast as your other your clear so now the next one since we got that going we're going to we're gonna put this away we don't need that anymore we're gonna take out our orange so make sure guys when you're going to the new the next color application make sure you you clean your brush really good okay so i'm gonna clean in my brush and my monomer so that's my monomer guys right there but i'm just putting them on the side oh shoot sorry i touched the okay let's get a little bit of powder since i ruined it i ruined it guys but anyway we're gonna smooth that out later so just a little something now we're going to our orange application so you don't need a lot because this one so i just need a little bit and then i'm gonna place some right here and i'm gonna try to spread the same thing i was doing and same thing guys trying to since you're gonna put another color over this try to make this one blendable guys that way when you blend you have a good nice blend when you get to your next color so there you go we're gonna try to blend this i'm gonna add a little bit so there we go we got a nice little blending so if you're not satisfied guys you could always add a little bit in the middle um that way to meet your brown and your um, you know so that you can get like a nice blending so i like to i like to do that just go over that now the next color would be our uh since i was using um i was using our um you know uh, what we called a uh, warm pink so we're gonna get our warm pink to finish this look so here's our warm pink i don't need that so there's our warm pink product so <clears throat> I don't need a lot so we're gonna cover so this is our last color and then we're gonna try to blend that to our orange area there you go it's really pretty guys oh sorry there I, I was so focused I not seeing the camera there you go our orange and it's all done so i see it's a little bit clear right here since i was uh using this clear tips so i could see the blue that means i need a little bit more color so i'm gonna add just a tad bit guys so i'm gonna place it right there because you don't want to put too thick of acrylic close to your cuticle area you just want a little bit thinner that way it gives me a nice blend over the orange one so there you go now what i like to do guys since we're we're already finished with that uh i like to put a clear on top of my uh, finished work uh because i don't want to ruin the the blending of my powder uh, my colors so i just need uh use a clear acrylic to encapsulate uh this uh work that i i i did so let's put a little bit of clear acrylic on top of these nails you don't you don't need a lot guys you just need a little there you go so i'm just gonna put it from down and then stroke it all the way down to this so and if you're asking what size of the brush i'm using i using um i am using a size 16 
there you go so we're gonna let this dry guys and we we're gonna go to our next color and then once this dry i'm gonna smooth it out and file it and top coat it that way i could show you how it looks once it's done so we're gonna take this away guys from this thing so i can use the little sticky for the next color Okay, now we're going to uh, show you how to encapsulate the work that I did. <clears throat> so we're going to use this color, guys. So um, I'm just going to put this nail, I'm going to cover this entire nails with uh, this gold. So let's dip our brush into the monomer. And... Uh, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this because I don't want this to thick. That way, because we need to encapsulate this after uh, we put our DIY DIY like full leaves. So I'm kind of like just spread this all the entire nails. So uh, this is where we're gonna add a little bit of the orange. So let's spread this. Um, there you go, it's really beautiful. See how sparkly this glitter, guys? And uh, we're going to add a little bit because since it's a long nail, I mean, press all nail that was using. And then you can brush it off right here. Brush it down, just stroke it down. Now, this one is still wet, guys, so we're going to pick up some of our um, uh, fall leaves So because we're going to use these uh, fall leaves to um, decorate this nail. So it's still wet. You can place like any leaves that you want, guys, like this little tiny thing. So I'm going to start in the right there. You can place them anywhere you want. So it's still wet. So I'm going to put as many as I want. There you go. And then if it's dry, then you can just put a clear acrylic. So this time, guys, I have two in there. So I'm going to pick up and then put it somewhere over here. You see that? It's ready for the fall. It's very shiny, guys. Like super shiny. And then I'm gonna pick up another one over here. I, uh, I'm gonna put one right there. So I know this part is already dry, guys. All I need to do just added a little bit of the clear acrylic. So yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit clear acrylic in there. That way I can stick that um, <coughs> fall leaves in that area because I wanna. But this side, guys, we can put a lot because this is just to show you how you can, um, you know, put more stuff in that. Of course, if your client wants long nails, the better. Then that way you can decorate your nails a lot better because, um, you know, you have a bigger space. So you can put one here, this area, because it has a lot of space. So we're going to put a clear in there to stick them on. And then, let's see. There you go. All right. Look how pretty that is, guys. So, since this one, guys, when you touch this, it's very rough. So, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to um, encapsulate this with a clear acrylic. So, I'm going to put this away because I don't need them anymore. So, what we're going to do, we're going to use this clear acrylic. So, um, that was my favorite jar, guys. Sorry, I use them so much. So, I'm going to 
get a layer of acrylic since this is a long nails um we'll pretend it's a long nail so i'm gonna start in the metal right there to encapsulate this product because we don't want the client to feel the scratchiness of this um, art but don't worry guys uh, once you put your gel top coat uh, it'll make a big difference so now we just need one more um bowl of acrylic so i'm just gonna start right here and we're gonna go spread this out until we're covering all of our nails if you need a little bit more just pick up a little bit there you go so i need just a tiny bit right there on the side yeah because remember we're we want to make sure that when we smooth this nail out we don't ruin our um, design that they would stay intact that's why we need to bury them in uh, you could also use um, a hard gel to encapsulate this uh, this kind of work so there you go guys and if you're asking where i get the the product this is from wildflower so even though we already put the clear acrylic guys the nails still look amazing so it's not that thick even if you if i put the nails like this way guys like you see like it's not that thick because uh make sure when you do when you encapsulate guys always start a very thin layer of your foundation you know uh that way you do not um roll uh, you do not come out with the thick nails you know what we forgot to put here that guys is the orange is this one anyway the orange is just to uh add a little bit of uh orange in this uh part of the nail but since we forgot to put it there but usually since we forgot i since there's a tutorial guys what you can do uh let me just pick up my brush with that little bit of so i can just brush it off anywhere in here and then i can just encapsulate very lightly uh, on top of these nails so there you go you have that a little bit th that of orange in the product and then uh, we're just put a little bit of clear to kind of go going over that so uh, this is just to show you guys how you mix your orange so you don't need a uh, of this uh these oranges you just need a little bit of this just to blend in with your fall color there see how it gives it a different effect because we put this um you know colorful orange like every dozen color it's so beautiful so we're gonna let this dry then we're gonna move to the next uh color that way i'll show you uh the next color application guys so i'm gonna use my tweezer to remove this there you go and then see how it clears at the bottom and then we're just gonna let it dry now i am going to the next one is our brown application so this is this one guys is the entire nails is you were using this color the dark brown color so since it's a long remember if you're applying this to the long nails like this always get two bowl of acrylic or you can do three so i can start at the end always start at the tip of your nails this is a very pigmented color so i need to let it set and before i kind of work it uh work it so this is the way you do it guys just tap it in the sides of your nails and then slowly move the acrylic towards the end and you don't want to pat in the middle because what happened if you do that that's what going to happen so you do it this way like you pat it in, pat it in. That way you don't have a, ma a wide nails. So I'm going to cut it at the end. There you go. Have that little excess there. And then just pat it, pat it. 
Yeah, so you don't have a wide nails. Now, um, this, like I said, this is a long nail, so I'm gonna get another ball. So I'm gonna put it right there at the metal. This is our stress point. Imagine this. So guys, speaking of stress point of the nail bed is a very important factor to make your nails uh, strong and not break easily. So, meaning when you put extension nails, make sure where the natural nails meet and your extension, you need to make sure you have enough acrylic with that in between that uh, meeting point is because you don't want your nails to break easily. And that's why sometimes client experience breakage uh, in between that because there's not enough product to hold your nails since a lot of times we use our nails for a lot of things you know so this is our last ball of acrylic guys and if i see i needed to add more you could always add more guys so now i'm blending the entire one to the entire nails and I'm gonna, while it's still wet, I'm gonna pat it in with the tip of my brush. Or you can use your the belly of your brush right here to tap it in. Yeah. Yeah. There, there you go. This is the entire um, nails for the dark brown. So in person, guys, because of the camera, our lighting, uh, but in person, this one is not super dark, but it's a, um, you know how the dark chocolate, so this is a little bit lighter than the dark chocolate color. So that is done, it's so pretty. And we're gonna let this dry as well, and then I'll show you the last application. Oh, actually the second, uh, the, this is, uh, the fourth application of the set that I was doing. So I'm gonna try to, to peel this off. So that's the good thing about this, guys. So I'm just gonna, there you go. And then I'll let that dry. <clears throat> now our fourth application, guys, is going to be the full glitter application. So we're gonna put that away and then I'm gonna show you this one. We're gonna go back to this one, guys. So, um, Actually, I'm not doing the full glitter application. I am going the um, the design. It's also encapsulated, guys, where we use two colors, okay? Um, like in half and half. I call it half and half. Uh, I'm sure there's a proper term for that. But um, so we're going to use this. I'm going to start with my warm pink. So I'm going to put apply this over here, slanted. There you go. And then I'm going to bring it up here. So make sure guys to, to pat the end, especially when you're working around your cuticle area. That way you, you don't have a lifting part. So I'm just going to pat and pat the until because we're doing like a blending. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit because I need a little bit of nails since this nails is long. So I'm going to just put it right there. But this way, guys, since I'm going to do half and half, and I'm going to pat like slanted because um, I'm going to add the gold in a little bit. You see? So there you go. So I'm going to just pat it, pat it, guys. And this is where we're going also for the encapsulation. There you go. So we already have that. And now we're going to get into putting um, our gold. Then, so I'm just going to place my gold right there. Where'd my acrylic meet? So 
So I'm just gonna try to blend it over my warm pink. There we go. So that's really pretty, guys. So, so it doesn't matter. You can have it very straight, or you could also uh, do it very slanted. So it doesn't matter how you like to do that. You know, art doesn't have to be perfect. So this time, guys, we also gonna add our DIY like our leaves, our fall leaves. So since it's still wet, so I'm gonna place one right there. And then I'm gonna pick up another one. I'm gonna put one right there. So it doesn't cooperate, but there. And then I'm gonna add one over here. pretty right this is so gorgeous so i'm gonna put one right there and maybe one more on the tip okay i think we still have a space we can move a little bit this down that way we can have one more we can get one more there we go i'm gonna move this this oh look we fit like more so that's how you do it guys <clears throat> but like i said if you're not as fast so you could always try to get into um you know um but uh using your clear acrylic so now what we're gonna do we're going to encapsulate this one guys okay but i see i needed a little bit of acrylic on this side so i'm gonna just add that in there and just blend and blend 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 so i'm just gonna put the top of my belly my use my belly of my brush again so now we're done with that guys we're going to um encapsulate by the way guys before you encapsulate make sure the the bottom part is dry that way when you put your your encapsulation you don't move the your decoration so it's still intact so um i'm gonna put the encapsulation right there and then i'm just gonna press it press it move towards the the end of the tip because i don't need a lot just to cover the nails so uh, my client don't see see how they move if they're not completely dry so i'm gonna have to push these little babies here there you go yeah so you just have to keep your eye when you're doing that that way you don't ruin your application so then i just need it a little on that side and then brush it So I usually just go over a little bit of the light though, over the the thing where my glitter meets and my natural nails. That way they look amazing. There, we're done with our encapsulation, guys. So pretty. <clears throat> so now we're going to the next, the last one. So the last one would be our gold. So the gold one is our last one. So I'm just gonna use a different, um, actually I'm just gonna use this and get me a new tab. Oh, I don't wanna ruin my stuff here. So this is what I use guys, let me show you. 
this is the blue tap guys you can get this at walmart so what you do you just get a little bit you just get a little bit right so this one um and when you're doing art you can just stick this to this one like just stick it there and then get your tips this is our last one guys so you just get this um blue tack and put it in any any stick that you are preferred so you can just glue them like that and the good thing about this one you can just peel them off uh, after especially if you're making like samples and stuff like that so you can use that, that way so this is our last um uh, last uh, demo guys the last part of the set of the nails that i'm doing so we're going to use again these nails so i'm gonna put this away and we're gonna do this one so again this is like a long nails in person guys so i'm gonna start in the middle and then i'm gonna so this one it's already mixed guys so you don't have to um, mix it but you could always uh, improvise guys what i do sometimes you know i can i make a different color i added iridescent glitter um you could always customize your own glitter if you want um you know you could always do that so especially if you have a lot of glitters and it's fall you could create your own mixtures of oh we got an intern option somebody was calling but anyway i was saying early, earlier you can always create your own glitter and mix it but this one i bought it at the hair show and it's already been mixed by tommy taylor so this is our last application yay so this is the last uh part of the nails that i was doing so let me clean my table guys and then let me throw this away and then leave it right here so that i can show you the finished product so. <clears throat> this one they haven't dry yet so this is the first one and this is the there you go and this is the brown one so let me see let me put them in order there we are so there's the finished work guys but i haven't top coat this because we are leaving these other ones to dry so um yeah Here's the finished product for our um, set that we did, guys. Uh, that's the full gold and the point finger, the ring, the yeah, the point finger, the ring finger. No, I don't know what the brown you call the bad finger. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then our. Uh, ring finger which is we have the fall uh, leaves and our ombre guys so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and uh, leave me a comment below guys uh, if there's anything or specific nail tutorial that you would like to learn i'm more than happy to uh, let you know guys and do it for you and thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoy this and don't forget to subscribe like share if you can and click the bell button guys for you to get notified for my next video bye bye